Hello everyone, welcome to Joe and Zach Survival. Uh, last night I made a video here on Supper at the Tent, which was uh, a venison supper. And the first four clips in this, it's, I got 23 clips to go through, and the first flow, four, this is what happens to the sound. You hear that? So I'm not going to be able to use those clips. So what I was explaining here was it was going to be venison with um, dehydrated potatoes and dehydrated corn. And uh, I got the stuff in that was going to be put into the, uh, put water into it so it would rehydrate and stuff like that. And then I was just going to go take a shower and then after the shower then video the rest. Well after the shower everything turned out perfect. But I don't want to throw this video away, so I just wanted to explain it. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. All right, well, I'm out of the shower now, and this stuff is hydrating real well. I'm going to cook the potatoes last. I want to do some venison up here, and Sarah bought me this brand new cast iron fry pan. I'm excited. So I've wanted one up here for a while, and uh, she got me one for Christmas. So now we'll cut up some venison and uh, get some oil in the pan and get it on the wood stove. All right, well, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this up into pieces. When I clean this deer out and got it uh, processed up here, I um, kind of put it into pieces already, figuring this is how I was going to cook these. So I just want it to be cut up into some chunks. And then we're going to throw it into hot oil because one thing for sure with venison, if people eat it and it tastes real gamey and like that that they say, you can't cook it until it's done. It has to be red and you want to cook it in hot oil and just get the outside seared just not very long on each side and pull it off and be done with it and it's delicious. Okay, so we got the corn heating up, and we're going to want to cook that venison in a nice oil base, nice and hot oil. So we're definitely going to want to open that up, get some good flames cooking on there, and when that heats up we'll drop it in and it won't take very long to cook it. Well that oil is good and hot now, and of course you can tell if you take a little water and Oh, that's ready. <laughs> oh, this is going to kind of um, flare up a little bit, you know, and watch out for yourself. All you need is about probably a minute on each side, like this. Kind of rotate the stuff that's up here towards the back is the hottest part of the stove, of course, is going to be right where it's trying to go up the stove part. Remember, you got to keep it red inside. It'll taste delicious. It's just about done. You can see it's starting to foam up. That's where it cooks the blood out of the meat, and we don't want all of it out of there. If it starts to crackle like it's frying, frying, it's too done. I'm going to throw the potatoes here in the same stuff, add a little bit of butter for some flavor, but I don't want the potatoes to cook quite that hot. So we'll pull that to the front of the stove and let that melt and throw those potatoes in. It's a little bit too much grease for me. Okay, so we have to keep in mind that when we're cooking these up, you know, these were dehydrated potatoes. But once they're rehydrated, they're just raw potatoes again. And to make decent hash brown type potatoes, 
any kind of fried potato, they have to be soft before you want to really fry them and get them crisp. And these are going to need a little bit more of this. So I'll pour a little bit back in. And then I'm going to take and cover them up with a cover like this, and that will help them get soft really fast. I showed you guys before, once again, cooking inside the tent, even when it's wintertime out, it gets really hot in here. So I got the door open here, and I got the back window open, <laughs> and the fan on right now trying to get some air in here. Okay, they're getting good and soft now, so for the last five minutes of cooking, we're going to want to put them on some high heat. And then we can get that nice brown, hash brown look. Usually when I cook it these last few minutes on any type of hash brown or a fried potato, I leave the top off because I wanted to get that nice brown. And look at the color. Those are just beautiful looking potatoes. So I would say that these are about done. Okay, well supper's finished. Um, it looks really good. The potatoes turned out great. I mean, they were dehydrated and look at them now. The corn the same way. Venison was just shot this year. I mean, this looks excellent. So, and I, when I pack that stuff, I figured that me and Zachary or me and Sarah would be eating it, you know, as two, and uh, neither of them could make it up. So now I've got this meal, and then I've got this one, which will be lunch tomorrow. So, <laughs> but anyway, I want to thank you for watching the Joe and Zach Survival Channel on supper the first night up here, and I look forward to making some more videos for you.